the actual unedited vulva in all its natural hairy, bloody, labia <laughs> glory, you don't see that so much and we're not comfortable with that. In Scotland, and in Glasgow in particular, the word cunt is actually just an everyday, all-purpose noun. If it wasn't that the womb was wandering around the body, there was this idea that there were instead toxic vapours that would wander around the body instead. So the womb was releasing these unpleasant substances that would impact different organs. The root of the belief is that there's some kind of dirt or toxin or some foreign harmful substance that needs to be removed. The vagina is a self-cleaning oven and there's absolutely no internal cleaning that is required. I spend an inordinate amount of my professional life thinking about a very simple question, which is, am I my body or do I have a body? When I googled lung and labia, I got onto websites that, that were basically telling me uh, there's a way to fix it, or we're a clinic and we can just, with a quick uh, fix, we can uh, make you look beautiful. Underline uh, messages, of course, there's something wrong with you. But in the 19th century, there's a real sense looking at these photographs that they're not quite sure what sexy is just yet. So and if you think about it, like that, that must have been quite difficult because having sex and enjoying sex is one thing, Creating an image that actually looks sexy for someone else to look at is a completely different thing altogether. Suddenly, we saw what I learned later was a sheen in our gig, a primitive figure of somebody holding their vulva wide open. Before, we sort of had the patriarchy, you know, men saying that women should be cleaning themselves or prepping themselves. Now we have women social media influencers grifting off of that. The shame is deeply ingrained. And I feel that right now we are living in a time where people are waking up and realizing, no, it's time for a change. And this is how we make a change, just by doing it. You're listening to the Vagina Museum podcast, a production of the Vagina Museum. I'm your host, Alyssa Chafee. Yes, you heard right. There's a vagina museum. The Vagina Museum is the world's first bricks and mortar museum dedicated to vaginas, vulvas, and the gynecological anatomy. You can find us in London's Camden Market. What's the Vagina Museum all about, you ask? We have the vision of a world where no one is ashamed of their bodies and everyone has bodily autonomy and all of humanity works together to build a society that is free and equal. In this first season of the show, we'll be sharing six fascinating stories from the long, beautiful and complicated history of the vagina. So if you don't want to sheath swords in it and you don't want to produce a baby from it, then should we stop talking about it? <laughs>